So I'm going to show you a simple way to master Slack quickly, even if you're a complete beginner. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to start using Slack like a pro. Let's get started. So we're going to start by heading over to slack.com. And let me start by saying, you know, what is Slack? Slack is a extremely powerful communication tool, and it's really designed to help teamwork between work very seamlessly. So if you're you're with a company and it's a way to keep communication, keep emails down, but it's also a really neat central hub to keep all your chats and teammates and files and everything that you're sharing kind of organized and different projects organized. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use this. Even if you're working remotely or you're within an office or you have a team that you're managing, this is where it all starts. So if you're the one setting up the account, you want to start in slack.com and I'll show you how to start getting this set up. Now, if you work for a company that uses Slack and they have already set this up, then you'll get an email from them inviting you to the group and just follow the prompts in the email and it'll take you right into this and you won't need to worry about setting that up. But if you're looking to set this up, I'll show you how to do this. So you go to slack.com, you click on get started, and first you're going to enter in your email that you want to work with, or you can sign in through Google or Apple. I'm just going to enter my email. Now it's going to send me a code. You enter in the code and then you get to this screen to get started on Slack. So you want to create your workspace. Now this is your overall workspace, you know, whether that be your company name or if that is a team name or a group or an organization, you want to start with that. So I'm going to enter, leave this as Moonward Media and then let anyone with a Moonward email be able to join that. So if you have a company set up with the email, it'll already set that up. You click on next and you add your name. Okay, and you can upload a photo of yourself if you'd like. It's a nice photo there. Okay, and then you click next. And then you can start with inviting people directly so you can add their emails in there or you can skip that if you're not ready to do that. And then it's gonna have your different plans. So there is a free version. The free version has some limitations. It won't keep the messages, like you'll lose messages over time. I think it's like 90 days and you have limited amounts of voice and video huddles, which is something we'll talk about later, and you can only keep it within your organization. So you can upgrade to the pro plan, or you can start with the limited, and, and again, on their website, they have a breakdown of what all that's included. Uh, you can start with the free, upgrade later, but we're just gonna start with the limited free version, as I put it. And once that loads, it'll take you to your Slack screen. Now, this is what you'll see. Now, let me talk you a little bit through the interface here. Obviously, if you're coming into an existing company, this will look much more full or much more added to. But if you're starting out fresh, I'll talk you through this a little bit. So over here, you have channels. Now, channels, think of those as like individual chat rooms, right? So within your overall company or organization, you could have individual groups that either everybody can join or that are private for certain people. So let's say you have your sales team or your marketing team or IT or something like that, you create these separate groups that only those people can see and make them private. Or you can have like just uh, kind of fun sections here. So they have all of Moonward or new channel, which is what we're on now, social. So you can have like fun facts or, you know, celebrations. And you can just have a place where people can post, hey, Susan had a baby the other day, or it's Roger's birthday or whatever you want to do in there. You can have some fun with that. So it doesn't have to all be serious and work related. And then down below this, you'll have direct messages. So anybody within your organization that you have access to, you can send them a direct message. So think of this like a text conversation, right? So it could be it's one on one conversation. And that would be individual with each each person, right? So as you add coworkers, you'll see them there. And you can notify them. Now when there's new messages, it'll pop up and it'll give you a little number there to show you what you have. And so when you want to create a channel, you go to create new channel. And they have a couple of different templates here. So you could create just a blank channel and you could create it yourself. You could have like a project starter kit. So maybe you want to create a channel around your new website launch. You could have help request process. So if you have IT or if you're building something and you want to, hey, if there's any problems, you could do that. Team support. You can look through these and these are all sort of pre-laid out for you depending on what you are creating or what you want. And then obviously you can just start from blank 
and build it yourself. So let's just call this ad then, right? And we'll create that. And then if you wanna add people, you can add people right then. And you can add a description for the group. And really this is so controllable by you. You can add as much or as little information as you want in there. And as you have these conversations and multiple people are involved, this is where the organization really starts taking hold. You're not just having to look back through a bunch of emails, but you're looking at, oh, that has to do with admin. So I'm going to go to the admin channel and look within there. And there's also a search bar. So you can search for, oh, I remember somebody sent me a Google Drive that was called new video ideas and you can just search for that and it'll find those components now on the sidebar here so this is your home page you can see you can direct messages so if you have any messages that you need to respond to they'll pop up in here you can see activity so these are you know anytime somebody mentioned you in a group or threads that you're following if there's a reaction invitation to a group or something like that all those will be organized in this one spot and again, down here, you can create different templates and automations. You can also add plugins. So you can add like a Zoom plugin. So you just go slash Zoom and it'll bring up a Zoom meeting if you want to have those. And then messaging wise, you can tag people by saying at, I'm the only one in here. So you can tag me in the message or you can add emojis. If you want to add things like that, you can add a video where you can, you know, record a video of you talking or an audio message where you just want to record, leave somebody your thoughts and, and write them down. And what's neat, too, is when you're looking at the direct messages, you see you, you yourself pop up in here as well. And I use this all the time just to jot down some thoughts because it only goes to me, right? So you can just add yourself little, little notes here and go, so that only goes to me and I'll see that. And you'll see too, when people get a, a message from you, they can react to it, which is nice. You can mark it as complete, take a look. You could do these different things. And then you can also reply within the thread. So again, this sort of keeps the messages organized. And what I've found is each organization sort of uses Slack differently for what makes sense to them. So I think if, as you're getting set up and you're getting started, you can kind of set up that culture of what you want. If you're saying, hey, let me create main messages. If your response isn't related to that message, reply to it or just have everything in, on the main section there. Uh, really great ways to really utilize Slack. But that's how you get started using Slack. So you can jump in there. No reason to be intimidated. Start using it today. Thanks for watching.